Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about design patterns, juniors and being the only employee. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how would you go about learning how to correctly apply design patterns when you are a junior level developer and the only employee? And the short answer is trial and error, my friend, and discovering rather than learning, I would say. Let me explain. So I've made a video about design patterns before, probably more than one actually, but it's gonna be very sim a very similar message in this video. I will argue to you that there, there is no way for you ever as a junior to correctly understand how to apply a design pattern. I'm sorry, there, it's, it's not gonna happen because a design pattern fundamentally is it's created or it's a, it, it's very similar to best practices or something of this nature. It's, it's actually, that's probably a better analogy. Like a design pattern, guys, it's just the best practice for a specific sort of problem that you may have. And the people who have created these design patterns, I mean, there are really established ones and then there are best practices or things that are very specific to a, to a given tool. These things, they grow organically from people having problems or having a very similar problem to other people. And then they kind of compare notes and they realize that, you know what, if I just do it this way, uh, this is kind of universally going to solve my problem every time I have this exact problem. But that's the, that's the fundamental issue with this. You need to have the experience to be able to identify that you have a reoccurring problem here and that this design pattern actually is a very good fit for this problem. And sometimes it might not just be a copy paste solution. It might be the case that you know that as an example, you have a, a very diverse model system with tons and tons of different models that need, need to be instantiated. And then you know, based on experience, that you know probably the best way to solve this is not to create a really long inheritance chain because these models are fundamentally decoupled from each other. Well, maybe a factory function would be something to consider in this, in this scenario where you put input some, you know, it just takes the incoming JSON data or form data or whatever. And then based on that, it simply knows that, okay, if, it, if I have these pieces of information, instantiate that model and that model and that model and so forth and so forth. This is just an example, but you need the experience to know what to do and what not to do. And you get that experience through trial and error. As I said, this is kind of, that's what experience in, it kind of comes down to that thing. You fuck up enough so that you know that this is a good idea and this is a bad idea. And the only shortcut in this is that you as the junior observe someone who is fucked up enough, which is a name, which is a, and we kind of call them seniors, but I like to call them the biggest fuck ups of all because that's what they are. They've just fucked up enough times or maybe had a few success cases, I hope. And th that's where their experience comes from. They know that, oh, this should be done, this should not be done because I've done it so many times and it's blow blown up in my face or it blew up in my face a few times and then I got smarter and realized if I did it this way, it didn't blow up in my face. And without such a person, if you're the only employee, you have no way of shortcutting. So what I want, uh, what like, What's important to think about here is that without that experience uh, at, on hand, you're not going to be able to figure out how to apply a design pattern correctly because you simply don't understand the pro you, you don't understand when this is going to be a useful thing to, to you, the thing that you're going to do, which is what most junior developers do. And this is, you have to understand, this is normal. It's as normal as a small child thinking that they're the center of the universe until they grow to a certain age and they realize that shit, it's not just about me. There are other people around as well. It's, it's part of the process. You will not understand when to apply a design pattern because you will think that by reading that design pattern, now, like your brain, like you will immediately start thinking, okay, when can I apply this? Like, okay, so I have these problems here. All right, uh, which design pattern should I use to solve the problems that I have? And that's exactly the wrong, that's the exactly the wrong thing. That is the exact problem right there. Your first instinct will be to say, okay, I have this application I'm gonna build. What design patterns should I use in order to do this? And that is incorrect. I know it feels weird, but that is incorrect. Even though these are considered best practices, what the correct way is, is that you 
it, you work enough to realize that, oh, okay, I have this problem here. I've had this problem many times before and I always struggle with these things here. Maybe if I use a provider pattern or a factory pattern or a builder or something, it depends, right? You know about the patterns and you kind of know, well, you know what? These patterns are actually kind of, this pattern here is kind of designed to solve this problem I have here. So maybe I should use it because I realized that I've tried my way. I'm trying, I've been trying to do it in a different way and it just doesn't fit as well. So let's try, let's, let's do it in accordance with the design pattern. That is the correct way of doing this. But if you're paying attention, as you're noticing, there's no way for you to know that without fucking up first. Because if you've never built something, if you've never really created a solution to a, or had a problem, and it's the first time you're doing it, then there's no way for you to know if this design pattern is actually going to help you or if you're just misinterpreting the use case and the problem. It's, uh, it, it's not possible for you to, it, like you're basically just gonna blindly apply the design pattern based on your very shallow understanding of what it's supposed to be helping you with. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you are a junior developer working completely alone, I would say that don't try, like you learn the design patterns, like go for it, like learn how they, like what they're about, understand how they work, but don't ever get into that position where you, just because you know about the different patterns that, oh, you go, hmm, I, okay, well, I'm gonna build this. I wonder which design pattern I should use to solve this because then you're going about it the wrong way. The, uh, the, you should flip the whole equation. You should think, okay, I have this problem and I don't really know how I can, I've never really gotten this right. I wonder if there's a design pattern that will help me solve that problem. You're problem focused, not tool focused. That's the problem that usually you face as a junior. You're more focused on which practice which pattern should I use then the reverse which is what problem am I solving and is there a design pattern that actually perfectly fits this problem if there isn't and guys usually there isn't design patterns are designed for a very specific sort of issue or something that you may encounter here and there but most developers they go quite like there are there should be several months at least between every time you use a design pattern and usually you're just gonna be go something like, well, you know what? No, this problem is kinda, it doesn't really fit in a design pattern, so I should probably not try to apply it because it doesn't really fit this issue. So just keep that with you. Trial and error and experience is the way to learn how to use design patterns correctly, and you're going to get it wrong in the beginning. So try to just use it as sparingly as possible because without a senior developer, around with the, who can teach you like what good code is and what bad code is, it's going to most likely blow up in your face. And hopefully if it does, and or rather when it does, the impact will be very small because you didn't create a really big mess on a backbone feature. Have a great day.